The college started 20 years ago. To start with, this was a greenfield site. This was just a corner between two roads um, with not a lot around us. Over the time of the college, we've, we've come from uh, a few classrooms right the way up to a fully functional, high quality um, educational facility. The main focus of uh, technology use at the college has always been to maximise benefit for students in the classroom. That means that we put the best possible equipment in the hands of teachers. So we need to be constantly reviewing the way in which we use technology and one of the outcomes of, of that has been changing the core display technologies that we use in classrooms. Um, we looked at a, a bunch of alternatives uh, and had a, a, a heap of demo boards here uh, to try. We uh, basically tested them all and the teacher's feedback chose the BenQ. Uh, in addition, we liked the supportability and quality of the product and as IT, we want to be called to the classroom as minimally as possible uh, so we needed something really reliable. Prior to having the Ben Cuba, we did have another um, smart board sort of um, interface. Well, I prefer using this one because it's definitely more clear than the ones we've had in the past. I think just the quality of the technology of the BenQ screens is probably the main thing. The overall package that we have allows us to do more things than we were able to do in the past. Um, the pictures is crisp and the colour is there so the students are able to see it easier and again that makes it more interactive and engaging for them because they can clearly see what's there. Having access to an interactive panel has certainly changed the way that I deliver the curriculum. It's so much more fun, engaging, spontaneous. We can instantly look up something that maybe a teacher didn't know previously as well. We are learning together. I wouldn't say it's changed the way I teach, I would say it's enhanced it. I like the wireless capability where I'm able to detach my laptop uh, from my desk and I can move around the classroom freely. The kids can use my tablet to you know, add anything to the screen as well. I can actually work with the kids at their desk and they can see what's happening on the screen as well. Another thing is the freeze function where you can freeze it on a particular screen and then the students or myself can come up and circle out um, important parts on a particular screen. Um, that's been really useful as well. The key factor in any technology in a room or in fact any resource in the room is if it changes beneficially basically what students are doing. If it doesn't change what students are doing then it's of no value. Uh, the new boards certainly have brought the kids um, engagement and excitement a level up. They are constantly engaged, wanting to see what's next. Everything is kind of ready for those 21st century learners. I think at the basic level, straight away they see it looks like a huge TV that they, that they have at home. So that engages them straight away. And it's been really good having um, the opportunity to have more than one child touching the board at once. Um, that interface allows um, more students to get up and be involved and therefore less just sitting back and having to just watch. Um, as time goes on we need our students to be able to not only be effective uh, thinkers and learners themselves but also be able to work in groups and collaboratively and being able to get around a range of screens in, including the large BenQ boards is beneficial when we're trying to get people to work in groups and teams in problem solving, modelling, etc, etc. I would definitely recommend the BenQ board, um, definitely because of its clarity, the ease of use and the um, touch interface is so good, it's very responsive and quick. It's been so easy to use, easy to adapt to, the kids find it so easy to use too that, you know, it's just a wonderful tool. I think once you use a BenQ screen, you won't go back.